Greetings, hi, this is Carrie, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a prosperity altar. And so this video was inspired by questions I've been receiving from some of my channel subscribers after I published the first Goddess Wise New Moon report of the year, which was last week. You can find that video in the Goddess Wise playlist here on this channel. And so in this video, I'm going to guide you through the steps of how to create a prosperity altar. Then I'm going to share with you how to activate and use your altar. And before I do that, I'd like to share with you, just from my own personal experience, the benefits that I have found in working with an altar. And so I look at the creation and the working with an altar in my life as a tool in focusing my energy around my intentions. In the way that I create altars, I, this also helps me to activate and balance the elements of nature within myself, which include earth, air, fire, water, and space. Working with altars is also a very empowering way to stay centered on the spiritual dimensions of yourself, increase awareness of the spiritual dimensions of life, and it's a very lovely way to honor universal divine presence within yourself, inviting it consciously into your life. And so let's go ahead and take a look at how to create an altar. And so this is the altar that I have set up in my home. I keep this set up year round and I refresh it every month with items that represent whatever my intentions are at the time and whatever the energies of each new moon cycle um, are. And so I have this set up in the north facing direction of my home because many traditions teach that there are beneficial energies that radiate in from the north that are particularly useful in activating the energy of abundance and prosperity. So one of the first things you'll notice about my altar is that it is clear and uncluttered. It's definitely a good idea to keep your altar simple and free and clear of clutter so that the energy can flow. And so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these items that I have placed on my altar and I'll explain why I have them. We're gonna start by just zooming into this plant here. So this leafy, viney green plant I have growing in a small jar of water. And I don't know if you can see or not, but I actually have some quartz crystal in there. The quartz or the water helps to activate the transmission ability of the quartz crystal. And so this I have placed in the northeast direction of my altar as a representative of water. Let's go ahead and pan down into the fire element. We're gonna check out this candle. So this little green lotus shaped uh, candle holder that I have a little votive candle in is my representation of fire. I keep this candle on my altar all the time this white pillar seven day candle that I have on my altar, I have specifically for activating the new moon cycle of January. Underneath this candle, I have a piece of paper with my goals written down on it. And on the full moon, I'm going to burn that piece of paper in the flame of this white candle to help release or discharge uh, all of the focused energy that I've been putting into my intentions during this first two weeks from the new moon to the full moon. So let's go to earth. I have this green calcite in the background, which to me represents the earth element. I have this little wood, where is it? This little wood box that a friend of mine gave me. It has sage in it and it says faith on it. And so this also is representing the element of earth to me as well as the Buddha. The Buddha is representing to me the divine masculine and earth at the same time because it's made of wood. His left hand is in an upward facing receptive position. And so I've placed a small clear quartz crystal there. 
to enhance receptivity. And then the air element. I have this incense burning here in the northwest direction of my altar. You can also use a feather to represent the element of air or you can use a small fan. I like to use incense. I feel like the smoke of the incense carries my intentions up into the ethers. And then these chimes I have here to represent the space element. Chimes are used to clear the element of space in Eastern traditions. So I keep these here and I use them frequently like I just showed you to clear the energy of not only my altar but my home. And then for the Divine Feminine, I have this representation of Lakshmi. She is the Hindu goddess of wealth. And at her feet, I've placed this coin that I got in Egypt. This, I think, is an Egyptian pound and it has silver colored metal and like a brassy gold. I purposely use greens and gold for my prosperity altar because these are good colors for prosperity. And then over here, I have Nefertiti, and she has become a symbol of beauty and power. And so I like to keep her here on my altar as well. And so um, that's about it. You can be creative in how you make your altar. Just take care to have representations of all of the elements, earth, air, fire, water, and space. And so now let's get into how to activate and use your altar. So the act of creating your altar and then refreshing it every month once you have it created will really serve to activate or initiate the energy. The very first time you use your altar is when the energy really gets activated. And so what you wanna do is start by taking some time to stand or sit in front of your altar in self-reflection, reminding yourself uh, of why you chose to create the altar and what the intentions are or the goals are that you're desiring to manifest or set in motion with your altar work. And so lighting the candles, lighting the incense, I feel like the incense helps carry the essence of your intentions into the ethers and the fire also ignites, um, activates, it also cleanses, purges uh, energies as well. And if you can work with your altar daily, that's best. Um, taking some time each day to stand or sit in front of your altar, reflecting and meditating upon what your intentions are. I like to work with my altar in ways that are aligned with the new moon. So every new moon, I will set a new intention. I'll refresh my altar with things that are representative of whatever the energy of the moon cycle is or the energy of my intention. And then I work with my altar all the way up through the full moon. And then during the full moon, I'll do a releasing ceremony, which usually involves burning the piece of paper that I have my goals written down on that I've been daily putting some energy towards and this burning helps to uh, release or discharge all of those intentions and the energy around them that have been building up out into the universe on the full moon which assists the process of things coming into manifestation. And so I invite you to experiment with this. Create a prosperity altar. Share in the comments section below what you experienced or whatever your questions might be. And be sure to take a moment to subscribe to this channel while you're here. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Blessings.